I'm just gonna enjoy um, and be passenger princess. <laughs> Never princess, always a queen. Oh, it's true. I was gonna say, I don't know if y'all will be able to see that, but uh, you can absolutely see that with her. Disney Wish guests, may I have your attention, please? This announcement. Good morning, everybody. I slept great. This bed is so freaking comfortable. It rained a lot last night, like all through the night I could hear the rain, but I'm not, it, that was amazing. Um, slept good. Adam just texted me that he wants to go to breakfast at eight o'clock and I'm like, I am not even out of bed yet. So I'm gonna text him and say, let's say 8.30. Um, I have no plans today. So what I need to do is if you go into explore on the DCL app, it'll show you everything that's going on and C days usually have tons of activities and then you can press and give it a little heart if it's something that you want to do and an alert will pop up on your phone when it's time to do that thing. So I'm going to spend a few minutes doing that, tell Adam to slow his roll <laughs> and then we're going to get this wonderful C day started. So C day, probably other more than any other day during a cruise you never know what's gonna happen. I am dressed for breakfast anyway. I've got my marine layer skirt, my Kari Yumas, my um, Alani shirt, my key to the world card, my little crossbody that will hold my phone, and we are off to, I think, I'm assuming 1923 for breakfast. So I'm gonna go pick up Adam and we'll see what we get up to today. <laughs> How long have we been sitting here? Yeah. Uh, weather is perfect. There's a breeze. It's not fantastic pool weather today, but I don't hate that. Like, I prefer this to like hot sun on a sea day. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's like pleasant enough to be outside without it. Yeah, it's really lovely. So he's off to his massage and I'm going to stay here. <laughs> you like to get my review? Come on over to yeah, my channel. Yeah, oh by the way, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. All the food that we ate on this trip, go to Adam Hatton's channel yeah. because I will show you nothing. Camera eats first. I'm camera sure. eats first. We had to, choices were made and Adam is focusing on the food. So anyway, go enjoy your massage. Thank you. So Carly came over the shipwide intercom a little while ago and she said, it's a beautiful sea day. You can do as much or as little as you want. And I am taking that to heart. I don't have a lot of like busy plans today. Um, the next few hours are just kind of mine to do whatever. And I'm not, if I had a lot of like enthusiasm, <laughs> I could do a million things. There's bingo. The baby dash is going on right now. The, what do they call it? The Jack Jack diaper dash. Um, I could do all kinds of things, but I'm kind of feeling mellow reading my book. I might go get a glass of wine. Um, just I'm, I have a very busy couple of weeks coming up and this is the last day of this cruise. So I really want to kind of do some self care, take some deep breaths might even do one of my like Apple Fitness yoga things. Just need to reset. I might go to the rainforest room. I think what I'm more likely to do though is pack up my bag and get ready to go. And then when I get there, if she tells me it's packed, I'm usually on sea days, it is, uh, but you never know. So I wouldn't mind getting one more rainforest room session in just because I feel like I've only been twice. Have I been twice or three times? Twice. I really feel like I need to go one more time today to, to make it worth the money that I spent. Um, so hopefully I can do that. But other than that, just kind of mellow. And that's the best part. So I'm looking at the beautiful ocean and it's, it's the perfect day. Like the, the temperature is not too high and ah, just wonderful. <laughs> I feel like my sea day videos are always just this conglomeration of too many different activities, but I just met my friends Suzette and Brian for coffee. I popped back into the room and we are now off to see Aladdin because 
I have Enchante at six o'clock tonight, so I can't see Aladdin tonight. So I'm going to see it now because it's one of my favorites. And it turns out Suzette's husband, Brian, is a huge Aladdin fan. So he got there early to get his good seats. So we're going to go do that. You're not supposed to save seats, but you can save them for like 10 minutes. That will be fine. And um, yeah. And, and, and then what do we do? What have we done so far today? Let's see. We had breakfast. I went to the rainforest room and read my book forever. I had a coffee. I watched a wonderful woman play the violin. I did a little bit of shopping, didn't buy anything, just window shopping. And now we're off to the theater, so, you know. Also of note, after three cruises on the ship, and this is the fourth day or third day of a four day cruise, I finally, finally feel like I know where I'm going without having to look on the map. So if you're ever on the Disney Wish and you get confused about where you're going, it's perfectly normal. That was long This is all I'm allowed to film. It's just like this right here, and then that's it. Well, I'm back in the room, and it is the saddest of sad trombones. The suitcase is out, and it's time to pack. But I'm going to do it with this beautiful view. I'm going to put on a Disney movie and just be okay with it because I will be back on a Disney ship again soon, I'm sure. I don't have one booked, but I always hope that I'll be on a Disney ship again soon. And so far it has worked out. So time to pack up the suitcase. I will say, and I don't feel like I say this often enough when I talk about why for me packing light is so important. It's the packing up to go home part that is so much easier when this is all you've packed. Yes, it's taking me a minute, but it's not taking me like two hours. Like it's really fast to get everything packed away. And it just makes the end of the vacation nice too. So, and I had more than enough clothes. If you watched my packing video, I packed dresses that I didn't even wear. I mean, I could have brought solidly solidly 30% less than what I did and it still would have been totally fine. So sad because this is probably my last time out on the deck with the sun up and all the things. I don't know why I'm so sad for this trip to be over. I'm not normally like this at the end of a Disney cruise but this time I am. It was too fast. Too fast. So sad. It's our final fit for dinner. <laughs> All right, I am a little sad, but I'm also, I just got, I just FaceTimed Scotty, so really excited to see him tomorrow. I so wish he had been with me on this cruise. We had so much fun. Adam and I had a ball, but I basically want to be with my husband all the time, which I realize after 34 years of marriage feels odd, but because he travels so much, I just, I just really missed him this trip. Anyway, um, here's what we are wearing tonight. Uh, this little dress is by Karen Kane. The earrings are from Nordstrom. This necklace is from Anna Louise Jewelry from a collaboration I did with them like two years ago. And then my little evil eye necklace is from Paros, Greece. So yeah, never been to Enchante. I don't exactly know what to expect, but I'm really looking forward to it three quarters of the way packed. Um, I don't have to rush to get off the ship in the morning. I just, you have to be out of your stateroom by 8 a.m., which is when I intend to leave the room. Then I will leisurely go get my final coffee and make my way off the ship. Um, my ride, who is Stella from Orlando Transportation by Mike, I have her scheduled for nine, but we have it kind of down to a science now, and she always gets there at least 30 minutes early, just because you never know how long it's gonna take to get off the ship. So um, that's one of the benefits of using private transportation that is really good at their job, <laughs> is I know that she's gonna be there for whatever time. Cause it's not like you know, it, it just can, there's so many variables. It can take longer to get off the ship than normal. Security might be long, whatever. One thing I want to note on that, that I'm very likely to forget to tell you, but I've mentioned in other videos, I always do carry on and I always do express walk off. As long as you can carry your own luggage, express walk off is such a better option because you don't have to have your stuff out in the hallway by 10 o'clock tonight. You don't have to be thinking through, do I have my pajamas? Do I have my medication? Just on and on it goes. Everything 
just like how I, I got on the ship with all my stuff, I'm getting off the ship with all my stuff. So there's nothing that I have to worry about. And everything so far is fitting back in. I didn't buy anything. The only extra things I'm bringing back are um, my Castaway Key wet dry bag, the beach bag they gave us, and my DVC hats because I have one for Scott and I think he'll really like it. They gave me two, so that made me happy. Okay. Off to Enchante. I don't know why I said it like that. It just seemed like the way to say it. Enchante. <laughs> He's going to do a, a much more thorough vlog about this experience, probably. Probably. We don't know. It hasn't happened yet. No pressure. It's worked yet. No pressure. <laughs> um, I'm just going to enjoy um, and be passenger princess. <laughs> Never princess, always a queen. Oh, it's true. It's absolutely oh, no, wait, true. That's me. Yeah, mm -hmm. two queens. See what I did there? That's all right. All right, we're going to go have a drink first, though, so we'll see you later. Come pretty. I love that. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, Tyrone. Beautiful sky. Oh, my word, that's pretty. We're brain. And he just looks out the window like that. I don't know if it will pick. Oh, it's picking up beautifully on camera. I was going to say, I don't know if y'all will be able to see that, but uh, you can absolutely see that. We have the most beautiful rainbow, not only the most beautiful rainbow, but the best view in the house mm -hmm. of the most beautiful rainbow. And I have my drink, which was the rose, which is very good. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, we are, and, and she's here. And Adam's and I'm here, too. here. <laughs> and it's just a beautiful night. And our server seems absolutely lovely. She said, just relax. It's like you're at home. And I said, well, my house doesn't look like this, but okay. <laughs> I do love it. I'm just drinking it slowly. So um, this drink is actually really, really lovely. So thank you for buying it for me. Thank you for coming on the cruise with me. <gasps> Same. And for bingo, that costs six. Oh, that's right. I did pay for bingo. I, I do believe we have a running tab that has worked itself out over the years. So we'll just oh, we'll just keep it going. Thing, I'm not I'm not a penny pincher. I would rather do gestures. Back yeah, and forth. we we do pretty good. I think we take, do. You know what we do? We take care of each other, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You want a friend like that? I love yeah. it. This restaurant, y'all. I'm only filming now because there's no one behind us. When there's someone sitting there, I'll stop filming. But for now, <gasps> isn't it beautiful? It's wonderful. It's so pretty. Which is uh, a vegetarian equivalent, and then you also have the collection, which is a completely blind meal, and that has a selection of the very best market foods so lobster, caviar, that sort of thing. Or you have the cart, which is just an a la carte menu where you can choose exactly what you want. It's very easy to like, even the, the kids used to like it because okay. there is no, no specific strong taste or anything, so the balance is just perfect between the saltiness and the cheese. Uh -huh. Then we might go for both of you also here. We're gonna go for a second half cheese. That's gonna be the mimolette. So mimolette is known as the favorite cheese of Charles de Gaulle. Also. Hmm. Be very happy. <laughs> hey everyone, Deborah knows how to make tea. <laughs> Everything. And yeah, here to speak a little bit more about the tea, we do have the collection of the like the casual tea that you have, something like very like the breakfast tea, Darjeeling, the one that's sure. been known, and we all also have a little selection of unusual coffee, uh, tea, sorry. So we do have, for example, here, the Nuit d'été, so that's been uh, <laughs> summer night. So you're gonna have a little smell of, you know, like you are under the pine flavors. Right. You also have the, way it is, L'Oriental, so it's flavor. So. Can I take the pen? No. Oh, no, you must leave it. lovely pen. Did you have a good meal? I had a wonderful meal. Same. Yeah. Um, I think with these experiences, don't don't be put off. There will probably be one course you don't like, and I have that. Um, but overall, five out of five. The atmosphere in here was outstanding. Mm, the service was amazing. It hit all the right notes. We didn't feel like we didn't fit in. It was very comfortable and lovely. 
Um, my bill with tip was three seventy nine seventy eight. What was yours? Uh, three hundred. Three hundred. So, so you know what to expect. Like we talked about with Remy, or not with Remy. Where did we eat last night? Apollo. It says it's a fifty dollars surcharge, or it's a hundred and fifty dollars surcharge. I mean, if you get all the things like we did, it's going to be more than that. But wonderful experience. Such a nice night. Good, good company. And also, the coffees weren't extra. They weren't, were they? No, the coffee and the tea and the cheese and everything was all included. See, so was nice. and they made my tea properly, which we know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm just taking a quiet minute. I'm sat over here in a corner, kind of off of the royal court area. What a magical dinner and what a magical cruise. I, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of Disney Cruise Line. I have been for years. The Disney Wish has not always, you know, this is my third time sailing on the Wish. It has not always been my favorite ship, if I'm going to be honest, but this was such a perfect cruise. Every note beginning to end, every server, every interaction with a cast member, every experience was just 100%, 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, final tell animal is the most adorable turtle I've ever seen in my life. And Dean gave me four chocolates because he knows that I love them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So that's it. It's over. I have to go home. <laughs> I'm actually very, I had a wonderful time and I'm very ready to go home and see my wonderful husband and my dogs. So we are all packed up. I will express walk off the ship. I will tell you in parting, uh, the, the big mistake that we made on our first cruise with our kids is we did not realize that everyone had to have their key to the world card to get off the ship. Very important detail. We did not have that. Oh, wait, hold on. Disney wish guests, may I have your attention, please? This announcement is to inform you that the Disney Wish is now cleared by local Customs and Border Protection for those guests with luggage tag colors and characters that are yellow with Chip and Dale, white with Ariel, tan with Pluto, gray with Daisy, purple with Minnie, green with Tinkerbell, red with Mickey, blue with Donald, or orange with Goofy. You are kindly invited to disembark the ship at this time via the gangway located on Deck 3 midship. Please have your Key to the World card out and ready to be swiped off the ship. Once inside the terminal building, you will be required to provide a proof of citizenship for the inspection by Customs and Border Protection. Please do not forget to drop off your comment cards in the boxes provided next to the gangway and outside each of the respective restaurants. Well, he just said it for me because <laughs> I was going to say, you want to make sure you have your comment card to put in the receptacles. You can't give these to your state host, uh, your stateroom host, and you cannot just leave it in the room. They're not allowed to like count them. You have to place it yourself in the bins. That's to keep the crew members and cast members. There, there just has to be um, protocol so that nobody is like falsely filling these out. These comment cards are the way that they get promotions. It's the way that they, when they do their performance reviews. So always make sure you fill these out. They are very, very important to everyone on the ship. It's like how it works on a ship this size for the employers to know how the employees are doing. And it's, it's just vital. So make sure you turn that in. Um, we did not go to dinner last night. So I have my little tip envelopes for um, Levant, who I've now sailed with four times. Absolutely adore him. Yeah, our head server, uh, our head server Levant, our server um, Nino, and also uh, Rosanna. We did not, uh, we only ate there two of the four nights, which kind of made me sad because I really enjoyed them, but I also really enjoyed Paulo and Remy. So I have these envelopes to give to them. I was going to go to breakfast with Adam, but I've now decided not to do that. Um, breakfast is always a bit chaotic and I'm a little concerned about making it in time for my flight. I think I did it. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you this morning. Getting off the ship is sad. It can be a little stressful. Everybody's a little tired, but um, I feel, I always feel bad for people with large family groups, but um, it's so worth it. So anyway, all right, whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy and uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.
fun. I cannot end out these vlogs without a huge thanks to my wonderful friend, Adam Hatton. Make sure you are subscribed to his channel. He'll have his videos from this trip coming up later on, I think maybe in May. And he just is a wonderful human being. And I'm so grateful that we could spend this time together.